All right, folks, a little bit of a backstory of what um, I'm about to talk about. I posted in a social media group some math regarding coronavirus and the flu, and it kind of um, blew up with people trying to dispute what I was trying to say. But I'm going to go ahead and do it in this video and show you. Um, it kind of stems from the fact that people keep posting this thing about, oh, 400 billion people die of the flu every year and um, we're we're actually going to go over some figures and uh, to kind of tell you what I originally posted I said coronavirus versus flu math now I actually reposted this on my personal page to see if I got the same results and I did on a smaller level but basically I said Coronavirus versus flu math says this. Four out of every 100 of your Facebook friends will die from coronavirus if they get infected. One out of every 10,000 Facebook friends will die from the flu if they get infected. Makes sense now. I provided the sources, and you can also uh, come up with the exact same results I do. You simply divide the number of deaths divided by the number of infections. So... Coronavirus, based on two months of a national average, is 0.034% of the people have died that were infected. Coronavirus, based on U.S. statistics only, was 0.041%, and this was the day that it was posted. Flu statistics, based on a full year of the United States, is 0.00096%. Now, you can't come up with a national statistics for the flu the World Health Organization says every year somewhere between 250 and 650,000 deaths occur from the flu, but they don't tell you how many are actually infected. Not only that, they say that their figure, 250,000 to 650,000, is an estimate because they really don't know. However, for coronavirus, which this is John Hopkins web page um, it's updated often it was at, actually last updated about 20 minutes ago it used to only update a couple times a day and now it seems like they're doing it about every hour or so um, but we know from that the national average is 3658 deaths so we can quickly determine 3,658 people have died, and we divide that by the number of people that had it. So 107, 897 gives us 0.0339% of the people that get it have died. All right, so that's the national average, 0 0.0339. Remember that number. Now if we go over here to the U.S. and select it, it shows 19 people have died, 472 confirmed, uh, one says 469, the other one says 472, let's go with the 472, says 0 .040 is the percentage of deaths makes sense so actually the United States more people are dying in the United States than the national average that's one thing to note now if we go to the CDC website for 2018 2019 influenza season which is a full year the CDC does keep accurate results of deaths and that sort of thing so we can see right here there were 34,200 deaths from influenza in the United States. There were peop there were 35.5 million people who got sick from influenza during that period. So now we can take and say 34,200 people died. Divide that by 35 five zero 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 zero. That's 35.5 million, right? You see at 9.6, but you see the E4, that means we move the decimal places four times to the left, which would be 0 0.0009. 
point zero 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 nine so as you can tell from that um, the coronavirus is between point zero four for the US point zero three for the international and the flu is point zero 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 nine percentage of deaths now you can go in and you can actually figure this up so we can say in the United States the percentage of deaths is 0 0.04 and for the flu this, this should actually be 0 0.9 it won't matter that much um, 0 0.0009 yeah so if we calculate it it's going to come out between 190 and 192 percent so it's 191 percent more likely to be to die of death from coronavirus now a lot of people have said that you know it has a lot to do with your age I get that but nowhere here is this broken down by age and nowhere is it broken down by age for the flu either that I could find and I'm just saying overall you are more likely to die from coronavirus than you are from the flu math is science I just proved it you can repeat it Go ahead.